Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make your KDE Plasma 5 desktop look a little bit more like GNOME 3 than it otherwise would. So to get started, you're going to want to remove the default panel. Click on this button over here, click on more settings, and then remove panel. So after you've done that, you're going to right click on your desktop, go to add panel, and add two empty panels. Go to configure on the bottom one and drag it to the left screen edge. Set it to 80 pixels wide and set the top panel to 22 pixels in height. For the side panel, it's, this is relatively simple. You're going to click on the uh, configure button, go to add widgets, add an, add an icons only task manager and you're going to install U-Menu. Now I've already got it installed, so I'm just going to go to Add Widgets and add U-Menu. That should pop into being right here at the bottom. You're going to add a spacer, move it up to the top, right click on it, and uncheck Set Flexible Size. Grab onto this little gray handle, drag it up here, and make it so that it's just slightly taller than this panel. So that's about it for this panel. Let's deal with the top one now. You're going to go to Add Widgets. You're going to download the application title widget, which I have done. You're also going to want to add the digital clock, the system tray, and the shutdown or switch widget, which is another that you will have to download. I'll go back to Customize, click Add Spacer three times, Right click on each spacer and uncheck set flexible size. You're going to move one spacer over here. You're going to move spacer number two in between application title and the clock. And spacer number three in between the clock and the system tray. You're going to want to re-enable set flexible size on these two spacers. Now that we've done that, you can right click on application title and then click configure check show the application icon change no active window label to desktop name and check bold and capitalize click OK you will also want to resize this spacer a little bit to get this closer so the last two things you're going to want to do are click on this desktop menu click configure desktop go to tweaks and uncheck show the desktop toolbox click OK and that will be gone. Then you're going to want to right click on your menu, click configure U menu, go to keyboard shortcuts, and set Alt F1 as the keyboard shortcut. Or click OK, and you're done. Now th this isn't a perfect GNOME 3 clone, but if you're fairly comfortable with GNOME 3, this should help the transition to KDE. Or if you're wanting to learn GNOME 3, this should help the transition out of KDE. That that's about it for me for now. I'll see you guys next time.